Major Seals at KGI Fason Soap, located at Standard Chartered House around Traffic Light. Brand new stocks look great with great brand at reasonable prices available at KGI Fashion Shop. Exquisite dresses with matching pearls and bags, beautiful ladies' high heels and shoes of all categories with blazers. Brand new perfumes, bags, accessories, jewelry, bodycom dresses, low confined flatters and high quality incense for household have just arrived. Best collections of tie, bow tie, shirts, leather belts, cufflinks of different styles are also available at KGI Fashion Shop. Ross now for your Christmas and New Year for the best quality material of great... Welcome back. The police chief overseeing Gao during the Islamic offensive in northern Mali has been captured. Ali Mahmoud Toure is blamed for a host of atrocities including amputations. His arrest, as we hear in this report by CFI, comes as a huge relief to many. The former police chief of Gao in northern Mali has been arrested for abuses committed while the Islamists held the city. For the last two days, Ali Mahmoud Toure has been in custody in Bamako. Residents in the capital are happy over the arrest of the Islamist police chief, a member of the Mujao. Some of the victims know him, and I think he amputated one himself. So I want justice rendered as quickly as possible. He should be tried for crimes against humanity, amputation, kidnapping and violation. Mr. Toure was captured late Monday afternoon by the Malian army in the tiny village of Gosi, just southwest of Gao. He was arrested after a prolonged gun battle with a military detachment commanded by a Tuareg. During his interrogation, Mr. Toure, who was born and raised in Bamba, 180 kilometers from Gao, explained why he had joined in 2012 the Mujao, the movement of unity and jihad in West Africa. We joined the Mujao because of Islam. They gave us the Quran and said we must apply the Sharia of Allah. This is why we joined them. Mr. Toure was one of the most wanted members of the radical Islamist movement. He went into hiding during the Franco-African intervention. He was feared for his zeal in applying Sharia, traditional Islamic law. His arrest has dealt a serious blow to the Mujao. Slowly but surely the jihadists are losing territory and slowly but surely the state is gaining. Malian authorities consider him a terrorist. If so charged, the former police chief of Gao will be tried by the Supreme Court. Five Chadian troops have died as fighting intensified in the Central African Republic on Wednesday. As it remains unclear who is behind the attacks, more and more people have been fleeing the capital Bangui in droves. Meantime, French troops deployed in the city are strengthening their positions to ward off any potential attacks. Details in the CFI report. French troops in Bangui made a massive show of force Thursday along the city's major arteries. They hope their presence will dissuade armed groups from further violence. As here, where more people flee to a safer place. Wednesday saw a new high in fighting. Even African troops found it too dangerous. All day long, firefights sparked panic in the population. Five Chadian soldiers were killed in the Gobongo neighborhood. Nobody can say for sure who is doing the shooting. This woman says they don't know who is shooting. Well, this one says she can't go home. She says despite the conditions here, even if she stays here a year, it's better to be alive. Nearly a third of Bangui's 800,000 inhabitants are crowded in the camps, and there's no sign they can return home safely anytime in the near future. Well, time now to take our second break. Sports is next.
The Gambia's top football referee and one of the best in the world, Bakari Papa Gassama, has ended the year 2013 on a high note after successfully officiating in the just-ended FIFA Club World Cup. Gassama was in charge of two matches, officiating both the opening game and the semi-final clash between European champions Bayern Munich and Asian champions Guangzhou. As we reflect back on 2013, Papa Gassama's remarkable story, both on the national and international stage, is worth celebrating. Moro S. Jalo keeps an eye on the 36-year-old's progress and prepared this report on his last game of the year. After successfully officiating the opening game of the 10th edition of the FIFA Club World Cup between Raja Casablanca and Auckland City, Gambia's Bakari Papa Gassama was handed another assignment in the tournament. In fact, a tougher one to officiate the semi-final class between reigning German and European champions Bayern Munich against Asian champions Guangzhou Evergrande of China. The match attracted huge interest around the world with the two sides boasting a rich history and managed by two of the best tacticians of the game. Bayern Munich, the most successful German club and one of the biggest clubs in world football, managed by Spanish Pep Guardiola, who is aiming to win the trophy with two different teams, having previously won it with Barcelona. Whilst Marcelo Lippi was chasing his first club World Cup title, the only trophy to elude the veteran Italian tactician. As millions around the world were glued to their television screens, the Gambian led the two teams from the dugout, with a Bayern side lining up in their ranks some of the world's finest footballers, such as the 2013 Ballon d'Or candidate Frank Ribéry, German captain Philipp Lahm, young sensation Mario Götze, Thiago Alcantara, among a host of exciting talents. The game was a one-sided affair with Bayern Munich winning comfortably by 3-0 to progress to the final to be eventual winners. Well, Bayern might be the winners, but it was equally a victory for Gambian football, as the pride and flag bearer of Gambian football near perfectly officiated yet another high-profile game. Papa got most of the key decisions right. Tease, try and get the cross away. Take it down, yes, the referee, right on the spot. Ribéry takes it in stride, he's got two away to his right, still Ribéry, down he goes, free kick, this is dangerous. Ribéry said spinning. I don't agree with the referee. Ribery was wriggling away from Juan Buen. A punch in the back was sufficient for the referee to blow the whistle. As the European champions proved no match for the Asian powerhouse. Bayern went on to win the trophy beating Raja Casablanca in the final to be crowned champions of the FIFA Club World Cup. The Bavarians are now both European and world champions, capping off a remarkable year for the German club, who have now won five major trophies in 2013. Just like Bayern, 2013 has also been an incredible year for Bakari Papa Gassama, who is now one of the finest referees in the game. At just 36, Papa has in the past 12 months officiated in numerous high-profile tournaments and matches around the world. Bayern Munich might be celebrating and reflecting on what has been a successful 2013 with an unprecedented five major trophy hall. But in Papa Gassama, Gambian football also has something to celebrate, having produced one of the best referees presently in world football. With the Scorpions struggling to get the results, Papa has brought pride and smiles to the faces of the country's passionate football fans. Modest Jala, GR Sports. From that impressive performance by Bakari Papa Gassama, we take a quick look at our headlines. A consignment of illicit drugs has gone up in flames as the Gambia's anti-drug crusade shows no sign of abating. Christmas fever has gripped Banjul, residents of the island city are staging the second edition of the Capital Cultural Carnival. Renewed fighting in the Central African Republic.